open the visual scripting window which is this icon make the visual scripting window larger zoom in using your mouse wheel and then right click add node and then search for visibility vis one of it is set visibility so choose this one you are going to set the visibility of all the images from a1 to a4 to invisible so the target should be starting in sequence you choose a1 and then we proceed after that with a2 and so on so the target is a1 and then visibility is off the easier way is you can copy control c and then control v so a new node will appear you just change from a1 to a2 control c and then control v arrange so that they appear in one row from left to right if you don't arrange it maybe it's difficult for you to keep track of your script after this so if we arrange it left to right instead of putting it anywhere then it's easier for us to keep track okay next make sure uh, first is a1 second is a2 third is a3 we name the images in sequence so easier for us to do the script if you use so if you want a more descriptive name maybe a1 klcc a2 Utrajaya A3 is KL Tower. Okay, so the important part is you know you name it using a sequence of character or number. Okay, then we link them together. Okay, next enter. Next enter. Okay, this condition will be executed when the filter is open. So open a filter means it's the start of the filter so you add another node you search for start okay so the beginning is start when you start the filter all the images are invisible okay try to arrange in one row from left to right check again a1 2 3 four all are invisible great okay so everything is invisible you can refresh next when we show our thumb we follow next one first line is done second line when we show our thumb a1 should be visible okay so that one will be a gesture so you search for gesture right click at node gesture detection okay, let me zoom in so you can see okay the detection of your thumb so you search for thumb up it's already chosen okay hand what is hand one the first hand second hand right we uh, we can actually use two hands detection in our filter Okay, next, uh, okay, you can add the node one by one. Or the easier way is we are going to copy all these four nodes. Select by drawing a large rectangle around these four nodes. One, two, three, four, because it's exactly the same as, uh, except the visibility. And then you paste. When you paste, it will. Uh, appear somewhere click on the active blue nodes and drag they are moving together because they are currently selected together we want to set a1 as visible so that will be easy change this so the only thing that we change is a1 is visible okay then link must be from the begin exact of the thumb up 
it will go to the enter of the set visibility of a1 okay so what happened if we end our gesture if we end our gesture it should be invisible so go to the top okay so let's see the preview first row is for the first row of the truth table done second row is for the thumb third row is for the index finger so everything is actually the same except a2 is now visible okay we have to change this one a2 is visible so what you can do is copy this five nodes okay one two three four five okay, copy these five nodes by drawing a large rectangle around it and then press ctrl c and then ctrl v it will randomly appear somewhere in your script window if you can't see it you can you have to zoom out okay zoom in zoom out to see where it is appearing then you drag so we can arrange that now we have the third row the third row okay so this is a faster way rather than you add the note one by one okay next is the index finger you choose index finger up what happened is a2 is visible a1 you set is you set invisible a2 should be visible okay done uh, okay next you have to decide what happened if we stop so ending you have to make everything invisible okay so invisible is the first row okay this first row is invisible so look carefully you are going to link the ending of your gesture to the first row okay so the first row is setting everything invisible okay so let's uh, view our preview again you can see that index finger and thumb is working okay uh, when you try to solve the problem actually we do it step by step we don't put everything and then test so there are a lot of different ways to solve this problem so the method shown in this, this video is we go by row first row done second row done that row done if something not working correctly you know which one is uh, causing the error the latest addition for example is the cause of error okay next the victory or peace sign the victory or peace sign again we can copy these five notes okay you can take the last one or you can take the second one actually they are the same actually except we want to change the visibility as long as we are going to set a1 till a4 and we can we can uh, we choose a gesture so you can choose either third row or the second row you want to copy okay i copy the last row third row so to make selection uh, you draw large rectangle around it so that's why you have to arrange the node in row easier can appear somewhere Control v you have to zoom out to see where it appears Control c and Control v all right so it appear slightly to the right so you when you zoom out you can see where is the location so arrange zoom in again all right now we are at the next condition i'm at the fourth condition victory or peace victory okay victory a1 will be invisible a2 invisible change this one invisible a3 is visible so the v symbol should trigger a photo okay next there you go uh, you can copy the same uh, you haven't decide what happened if you end the uh, if you end you should go to the first row so you zoom out okay this one the ending should be linked to the first row where everything is invisible okay next copy this again 
control C, paste, it will appear somewhere. You have to zoom out to see where it appear. In my case, here. So you drag. So the alignment is acceptable. You don't have to be too accurate as long as we see some row and column arrangement. Okay, next one is the OK symbol. Okay, this one, OK symbol. Okay, you can find it's OK. And then we set, okay, so for the OK, the force, right? So you see it will be updated when you do the OK symbol. There you go. Right, next, uh, copy the last row, Control C, Control V. And then, uh, okay, you'll find it somewhere. You have to drag. The last one is the open palm. Okay, so the last one is open palm, where everything is visible. Visible, visible, visible for all. Right, then finally you check for the ending of, this, of the action. Sometimes we forgot to link the ending so the ending for this one i haven't linked so we have to make a long way to the first row so sometimes uh, it's quite far but if you know what you are doing uh, no problem they are far or near you know where it should be linked so this one again uh, if we end we have to link to the first one okay so if you want to be sure whether everything is linked cor correctly so we can tell it from here so if palm is shown all are visible all right so the final script might look complicated uh, okay there are many other ways this is one of the way we solve row by row okay this hint is actually images of gestures okay so hint uh, gestures so it appear in my preview so the user know what to do. Show this gesture to get an output or an effect to be triggered. Otherwise, maybe the user don't have any idea what to do to activate your filter. Okay, once you are done, now you can submit. This is not the only gestures that you can do. There are many other supported hand gestures. You can replace this with any types of other gestures supported by TikTok. Okay, these are other gestures. Good luck.